how to return multiple values from a function. Let's find out in this video. So let's consider this. We want a function that uh, simply takes in two inputs, A and B, and outputs for us two values, the sum of those and the product of those two numbers. All right, so a simple function. How do we actually output both of these values from a function? The short answer is pointers. So let's, let's try and uh, build this function. So we first have a return value. Let's, let's, con let's consider it void. And let's say, as the name of it would be sum and product. Okay, and then we have a and b, so int a and int b, simple enough. And then inside the body, we're going to do something. But first, to actually output multiple variables, you're going to have to have um, multiple inputs. All right, so what I mean by that is instead of having just those two inputs that I said in here, we're going to also pass in two more inputs that are pointers to some place in memory okay so in which we're going to save the uh, the sum and the product so here we can say int pointer sum and int pointer product okay so this is how you're gonna how you can actually get multiple outputs and then what you can do is simply say um, sum, dereference the value of sum equals a plus b and then dereference the value of prod equals a times b okay and now if I try to use this let's say I have here an int x equals to 5 a y equals to 12 and let's say we're going to have to define our own sum and product somewhere in memory because the function itself doesn't return anything so we're going to have to have a variable of type integer called something well, i'm going to call it the same way here sum doesn't really matter and also prod okay and then inside the function when we call it all we have to do is say sum and product of course x and y and then for these two we have to give it well a pointer to an int. What would that be? Well, we're going to take the reference of our sum and the reference of our prod. And now, if we try to print f, the sum is percent %d and the product is percent %d, backslash n, and we're going to say here sum and prod. If we try to run this, All right, here we go. We're going to get the result here. I'm going to say the sum is 17, which is correct. And then the, the product is 60, which is also correct because 5 times 12 is 60. How does this work exactly? Well, it's pretty simple. We have here four parameters, all right? Two of them are the ones that we want to calculate the sum and the product. And then we have the, we're going to, then we have a pointer to that sum and a pointer to that prod in memory. So here is where in our code we define our sum in product in our uh, memory, okay? And then when we call this function, this guy in here, when it says star sum equals a plus b, it actually modifies this sum because we passed in a reference to that, like a, an arrow to that sum, okay? So it already knows that um, it has to modify this, this place in memory, okay? And same thing goes for the prod. It just modifies this piece of memory. And with, with this, you can actually um, have even more than just two outputs. You can have as many as you want. You can have them here listed like in start division or whatever else you would like. No problem. It works. Okay. Now, one more technique that is used when using uh, multiple return functions is 
this function, as you might notice, it returns a void. You might want to make it return an integer as well. So return an int and return an int because you might have some issues when you have uh, multiple outputs. And those issues include passing in null pointers, right? So if I pass in here null, this program will ultimately crash whenever it would try to dereference it. So I can check if sum equals null or prod equals null, any of those are null, then I can return something that tells the programmer that something went wrong. Okay, so I can say return, well, zero, let's say. Okay, and if nothing went wrong, at the end here, I'm going to say return one, because it's fine. Okay, and we can actually translate this to, to some error codes if you want to. But for this example, we're just going to have it either work or not work. Okay, so now we can just say int status equals that. I'm going to say if status equals zero, then printf something went wrong. Or something of, of sorts. And else we still print our values as before. Okay, so now if I try to run this, we still get the same result, but if I instead, instead of uh, giving it a pointer to our sum, I'm gonna give it null, it will say something went wrong. It, it wouldn't actually um, break the program. All right, so I hope you got something out of it. It's a very simple concept. Comment down below if you have any questions and you know, understand something about this. Uh, if not, feel free to subscribe, like the video and everything, and thank you for watching.